me. So that message really is that it's really important for kids to get a good night's sleep every night to develop those healthy habits and that restless sleep can actually lead to negative long term heart health. So new data suggests a link between what's called obstructive sleep apnea and high blood pressure as well as weight gain. Now signs of sleep apnea are snoring, gasping for air and snorting noises at night and fatigue and lack of focus during the day. Dr. Carissa Baker Smith says one reason for the link to obesity and heart health could be the dietary choices we make when we don't sleep well. She says kids with more weight related to unhealthy diet and exercise have as much as 60% more obstructive sleep. So maybe students have been sleeping in this summer or not in a good sleep routine because of being at home. She says going back to school is a good time to focus on those sleep routines. The earlier that we can identify it, uh, treat it appropriately, prevent risk factors for heart disease, obstructive sleep apnea, and, and poor sleep quality being one of them, I think the better it is for our kids. Now, a few tips for parents on what healthy sleep looks like. Younger children should get between 9 to 12 hours of sleep a night. Some kids can outgrow sleep apnea, but for adolescents, it's still 8 to 10 hours. And parents should limit texting before bedtime and remove all screens, including televisions, from the bedroom. She says if you're still seeing your child gain weight or hearing that snoring at night, it might be a good time to talk to your doctor about getting a sleep study done. For now, reporting live in Kirkland, Angela Kakade, King 5 News.